Well, it's time for the old boy to go to the doctor, I'm afraid. We're gonna send Wilbur off to a shop and have them pull the transmission and rebuild it. I'll tell y'all more about it here in just a minute. All right, yeah, so just to tell you guys what happened, um, I'd released that video about Wilbur being broken, had an issue with the transmission, and ever since I've owned the truck, it's had a problem with the transmission. Never had fourth gear, it always had a problem with the torque converter, but I didn't really care because I was doing, you know, slow work, first, second gear, didn't really matter, but then I was hauling the other night, about a month or so ago now, uh, time gets away from you, and I lost first gear, and I gotta have first gear. I can't, I can't take off from a dead stop in second gear with that truck when it's loaded, so I have to have first gear. So I thought for a while, I called around to figure out what to do, and I found, finally found a shop in Kentucky that said he knows how to rebuild those transmissions without a doubt. I just had to pull it out and send it to him, and it was gonna cost me 1,500 in freight and 12.5, five, 
for him to rebuild it with a one year warranty. And that was the plan. Because I couldn't find anybody else that even knew anything about him. You know, it's so funny, it's a Caterpillar drivetrain, but when I call Caterpillar and I tell them what it is, they don't know what a DJB truck is, even though <laughs> DJB is the predecessor to Caterpillar trucks. It's how Caterpillar got in the business. Anyway, so I was like, okay, well, it's the only guy I can find. He's the guy. And I called a buddy of mine over there that's a mechanic. He was going to help me pull it. And when he saw it, he said, well, hold on. I think I might know a guy. So he called another mechanic. Uh, of course, this is a funny story. Turns out I had that other mechanic's phone number in my phone already. I never realized it, never knew who he was. Never remembered how I got his number in the first place. So he came and looked at it. He said, oh, yeah, no doubt. I know how to work on these trucks. I've done them before. And he's just 30 miles away. So he's right here close, which is awesome. So rather than pull the transmission and ship it, we're just shipping the whole truck because that's actually cost effective. You can't ship it to Kentucky, no way. But I can ship it 30 miles here locally. That way he gets the truck in his shop. He pulls the transmission, not me. He rebuilds it, puts it back in. He can test drive it there in his yard, make sure everything's working. So that's the way to go. And he thinks he can do it for about 10 grand. So I'm spending a thousand bucks in Moab to haul it back and forth. That's just the way it is. It's, you know, they're not cheap to move those big machines, but I'd have spent 1500 in freight. So if he rebuilds the whole transmission for 10 grand versus 12.5, I'm still money ahead, you know? So it makes perfect sense. Plus I ain't got a fool around to try to pull that sucker out. Cause you know, I always tell you guys, it's just nuts and bolts, but those are big nuts and bolts. <laughs> Actually they're, uh, they're pretty small nuts and bolts, but it's just big, heavy. Um, it's kind of dangerous. I'd rather not do it. I was going to fool around and try to use the excavator to lift it out of there. And I'd probably ended up breaking something realistically because I probably wouldn't have had a bolt all the way out or something like that. And then I wouldn't have felt it. I'd have picked up with the excavator and just ripped something loose. So I think it'll be an all around better deal to have him put it in the shop. We'll see how the transmission rebuild goes. If he actually saves a little bit of money on that, I might have him do some other work on the truck while he's got it just to give him, you know, a good, uh, a good tune up. But like I said, I just want to tell you all what was going on, give you a little update. He's thinking he'll have it about two weeks. Hopefully that's all. I've already wasted five to six weeks screwing around trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't depend on that truck as far as like my living, but I have work for it when it's working. You know, you guys have seen, I use that thing. I got a big hole here. This entire hole has got to get filled in. And uh, well, you can see that little bit behind me. That's all I got done before the transmission went out. So I got a lot of work left to do here on getting this hole filled in. And uh, Wilbur is going to make it happen just as soon as I get him fixed.